time to work like a dog. Man, y'all stay tuned. What's up, what's up everybody? We are back, y'all. Back with another video. Y'all, for those who know me, y'all may recognize that right there. Woo, boom. Green, purple. Y'all may recognize this. We are back in the Coronada. I am working on rewiring everything, removing everything. Show you a little bit of what I've got. Well, my 43-inch TV is on the bed. <laughs> we are running all the wires. I've got both the cabinets off the walls. This one's off the wall up top. The bottom one's out. That's outside on the back. I'm rerunning all new wires, rerunning stuff, reworking because I am putting this fridge inside. Since I don't have a passenger seat, I'm going to put the fridge right here in front of the cabinet. I've got me a convection microwave oven toaster thing to put on top of it i got a coffee maker the laptop stand i've already moved the laptop stand you can kind of see part of it right there the rest of it is up there all of these are old cables that i've pulled out from behind the walls so it is time to run new ones getting new power strips new extension cords new hdmi cables and everything so this is fun 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 to replace you got to do it. Um, since I've I got to rework it anyway and move, I needed extension cables anyway because since I'm moving the laptop forward, I had all my cables tied into the wall just in the right spot. So now I need longer 25 foot HDMI cables to reach from the TV all the way up there in front of the TV. I needed um, HDMI extensions. I need USB extensions to get up there. So I had to make a Walmart run to get all their supplies. So yeah, this is going to be a chore. I mean, ugh. It is nasty in this truck. I mean, I scrubbed the whole floor and everything, but pulling the cabinets down and everything else, I've gotten more gunk all over the place. It's really not much room to work on inside here when you're trying to do this, but we're going to make it work, y'all. We're going to get this, and then we'll show you what this is like once I get it all put together, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. All right, everybody. Here is a little bit of an update. It is now the next morning. Um, I worked on this truck till after 11 o'clock at night. We got my Aperia Halos technology. We got my little coffee book. This won't fit under here, so I've got a, a 20 ounce tumbler here to actually make the coffee. Then I'll pour the coffee in that. We got some vanilla something, vanilla something roast tip in here. But now we've got our printer back in here. I like having my TV, my 53 inch TV back in here. Hey, we're all back in here. Bed's made up cabinets back in stock i pulled all this off so i can get to the wires better new cables and everything run my laptop stand is mounted right there we got it going but i still got to run all the hdmi cables and everything here i've got my power plug here on here mounted so we're good on this now the downside is we've got me a nice good freaking air fryer roller baker cooker whatever you want to call it toaster um a nice good thing but sitting in my seat this is my view so it does take as you can see it does take six inches of the window visibility out because like i say we got my fridge here so it does take six inches of the visibility out so that part kind of sucks, um, but hey, it is what it is. You know, that's the best I can do because I can't really mount it in there. It's too big to go in any of my cabinets. It won't fit in any of my cabinets. So it has to go right there. The fridge would fit under there, but it would not, because as you can see, it's close enough to where it would fit underneath it. Pardon all the dust, y'all. <laughs> I've been in here blowing and, and everything else on last night but it's just gonna have to go there i mean but granted look there's still plenty of visibility this is right here where my eyes are so there's still plenty of visibility um to see out the window so 
that's all cool. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, you know, how am I going to cook like that? Now, I've actually got some straps. I got Velcro straps, which I'm actually got some small screws. I'm actually going to put one here and on a strap back there. So I'm going to slide the fridge over before I finish bolting it all down. Um, I'm bolting it down to the floor. And have Velcro straps come across. Another one screwed in right here so it can come across and I can Velcro it down here. And then again over here coming across. So I have two to hold it in place. And then at nighttime when I go to cook, I just pull the Velcros off. And then I just take and rotate it over. Which we'll show you how to do that. All right, this is what it's going to look like when I go to cook. I'll just take it, the Velcro straps off, turn it around, do all my cooking. Everything be good to go. Hey, I, I can make my coffee in the morning. So I'll, whenever I shut down, I'll turn it around like this. Because as you can see, it sticks out even further than the fridge. So you're even taking away even more visibility. So by rotating it the other way, we're good to go. It's, it's not as bad. It basically comes up right even with this. So I'm not really taking away anymore. But this way going this way hinders more visibility. So like I say, we'll put some Velcro straps screw little tiny screws in here washers holding a velcro and then just velcro it tight but this fridge here it does have a freezer i've already got me some tyson chicken nuggets some checker steak fries i got four pizzas in here i got me some ice cream i'm gonna have to try to maybe get a couple more ice trays so i can actually make ice and of course in here hey we've got drinks i need to put more can drinks in there, but good bottle drinks. That is actually a eight pack of chicken thighs, um, boneless chicken thighs. So, and here we've got cheese, we've got honey mustard, we've got butter. So, you know, it's some more room for our brother's dish last night. I didn't have time to clean it, so it's in the fridge. So, you know, this will be much better for living in, in the truck. And then if I don't have time to go somewhere in the morning and refill my mug, all I have to do while I'm, even when I'm driving, if I want to drink, just reach over here, grab a freaking drink while I drive, and I'm good to go. It's easy to reach. Don't have to reach around behind you to get it. It's right here within reach. So this will be a game changer. Just got to get the laptop and everything, get all the cables run, put the laptop up. All this stuff is, of course, coffee maker box, pizza boxes, and other things. Tools, so got to finish finish mounting it to the floor and everything else and then finish running the cables tie strap the cables wire loom the cables and all that stuff and then i could transfer everything from black beauty number two over into this truck right here so we'll be back y'all so once i get everything transferred over like i say i'm gonna transfer everything from that truck into this one i'm back in mean green y'all i am back in mean green Oh, it's nice to be in here, y'all. So, because I've got my camera setups over here, I'm gonna mount GoPros up in here since this is my truck and it's gonna be no one drives it but me. I'm gonna screw into some cabinets and GoPro mounts and things like that. Um, permanently mounted because it's my truck. I've had it for eight freaking years. I mean, come on. So, anyway, y'all, we hope everybody's having a good, safe, blessed day. We'll see y'all next video, y'all. Peace out. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go